Hey everyone, this is George with D Run Comics, and I'm here with Zach. How you doing? <laughs> You've been asking about him. Here he is. Drink it in. You're welcome. Speaking <laughs> of drinking it in, good times a thing. You guys too. Go for it. Take a swig. We'll wait. Yeah, we're more entertaining the more you drink too. Yep. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Zach. What are we here to talk about today? Today we are here. We're here to talk about old comics. No, we're here to talk about the new Venom movie. Ah, they made a Venom movie, you say? They, they did. Um, and uh, you know what? I, I, uh, it's polarizing. Really. It's, it's, yeah, there are people who really, really love it. There are people who, who think it's, it's absolute garbage. Um, critical reviews have panned it. Yeah. Audience reviews have been a lot more kind. So, yeah. um, Honestly, I'm, I'm, do you want to just get right into it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well... Oh, hold on. All right. Before you talk... Spoilers? Is this a spoiler review? I think there, it is. I think, I, think that, I think it needs to be. In order to really give it a, a good, honest review... Spoiler warning! You know what? I saw what you did there. I heard it. I heard it with my ears. Yep. I'm, I, I appreciate that little nod there. Yep. That's good. You've been warned. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Venom. Um, honestly, I was... I, like, before seeing it... I was with the critics. Based on, on the, the trailers that I had seen, I thought it was going to be absolute garbage. I, um, I was, <laughs> I was, it's nice. It's never like, mind, little, never, little never mind. Anyway, but, um, the, uh, no, I, I was with the critics. I thought it was, it was going to be absolute garbage, um, and wouldn't be worth my money. I walked out of the theater, uh, being pleasantly surprised, um, I, I, don't get me wrong, this, this isn't, like, with the same... Uh, level of quality as as other Marvel Marvel Studios movies. This this is Sony. Don't 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 misunderstand that. Uh, but it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be, and uh, especially the 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 conversations that that Eddie Brock was going to be having with the symbiote. Yeah. No. Um. <laughs> that that I thought was hands down the best part of the movie. My turn. Excuse me. Your turn. All right. I'm, I'll, I'll give you a minute to work that out. Yeah. Um, for me, I, I don't know, I, I, I nah, mm -hmm. I didn't hate it, but I look at it, um, you know, like the, the Thomas Jane Punisher movie that's okay. probably about, you know, over 10 years old. Yeah. The, the, the Ben Affleck Daredevil movie, like those movies when they came out, like there weren't a ton of superhero movies at the time. So right. it was cool to see Punisher. It was cool to see Daredevil. Um, you watch those movies today they do not hold up yeah they, um, they, they, and they're, they're not they're that old you know they they, they could have held up if they were better yeah i think that the, this venom movie fits in with that mold of like it would have been I, amazing yeah 15 like, like, years ago yeah. i um, i can agree with that completely um i so getting a little bit more into the the spoilerish stuff um there is no spider-man to be seen in the movie Right. And I was willing to digest that if this was just amazing. Mm -hmm. It wasn't amazing. It was okay. Do you think it could have been improved if, if they would have injected Spider-Man in there in some well, way? If like they even, were gonna, just some kind of cameo. If they were going to inject Spider-Man into it, they would have had to go, in my opinion, they would have had to play the long game of symbiote, Spider-Man, you know. And, and, right. and I think past movies impact future ones. Like, yeah, it's been rebooted, but are they going to do a black suit Spider-Man movie now that we've already had Spider-Man 3 in the Sam Raimi trilogy? Like, I think it would be good, fun to see that done really well, mm -hmm. um, but they may not. See, that's just it. I don't think that they will end up doing that now. Now yeah. that, because otherwise, I mean, Venom is, I, I, from my understanding that the, it isn't it isn't concrete at this point. It's not written in stone. That Venom isn't part of the the Spider-Man Marvel no, universe. Very concrete. I is it? I that. haven't read anything about that. It is or it isn't. Is not. Is not. Okay. Well, then maybe you know. I guess the door is still open for for them to do a Spider-Man symbiote movie, but then it's also going to start getting con conflicting with this one. Um, and don't you like? I'm, I'm kind of with George a bit on this. Is that yes? If it would have came out like. Like fifteen years ago, like like when Spider Man came out, when Daredevil came out, and 
all that other stuff, this would have been an amazing movie. You would have just like crapped your pants and, and gone gone through the. That's a terrible. Have twice. you ever crapped your pants? Not not since I was in diapers. Yeah, at no, all. I don't have it either. I'm just it's, kidding. <laughs> yeah. It's, all right, well. It's, um, but I'm learning all sorts about you today. Anyway. Um, it's, but, uh, you know, now, like, like with, with everything that Marvel has done, um, this seems like it's, it's a big step back. Yeah. Uh, that said, I still really enjoyed it. I wouldn't say it's, it's like a full price movie. Don't go out, like whatever, at, at the 8, 8, 8, 8 p.m. Friday night to go see this. Um, but I would I would definitely, you know, matinee, probably, uh, if you if there's a cheap theater, you know, like once it's done on the main screens for a while and uh, like right before it comes to video, if you can see it in the theater for whatever, three bucks, five bucks, by all means. Um, but I, I wouldn't say it's like a, a $15, $20 movie. No. Um... So I, I there's something I hate about the movie, and it's not that I hated the movie. Right. It's that, like I I really like Venom, mm -hmm. and when a a meh movie comes out about Venom, all right, it sets back future development of a really good Venom movie happening. Okay. Um, and I I hope Sony can just keep you know screwing up all their Marvel properties <laughs> so, and then just saying, like, oh, well, we we jacked that up. Let's give it back to Marvel. Like, you know, kind of like what they did with Spider-Man. I hope maybe that can happen in this, yeah. too. Well, um, that was you know, that was a, a collaboration between Marvel and Sony. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, that said, collaboration, still, at least I feel, they knocked it out of the park. Mm -hmm. I mean, this as uh, Spider-Man. We have Homecoming, not said one spoilerish thing yet, by the way. Spider-Man: Homecoming is we'll get to that in a second. But Spider-Man: Homecoming, by far the best representation of both Spider-Man and Peter Parker, um, in in a Marvel movie. At least in 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 my opinion. Um, I mean, like the past movies have have had like, you know, they they've touched on on certain aspects of their personalities. Um, but Homecoming, and of course, you know, in uh. Civil War, um, I and, and in Infinity War, uh, he, I just I felt it was hands down the best representation of the character. All around, Andrew Garfield is my favorite Spider-Man. But we're not here to talk about Spider-Man. We're talking Venom. Yes, we're talking Venom. So um, uh, the the end credits. End credits. This would be a spoiler. Yep. Spoiler. Spoiler. Um, Cletus Cassidy. Woody Harrelson is an amazing choice to play Cletus Cassidy. I wish there was more money in the budget for the Blade. I I agree and disagree. Um, I, I I think I think that Woody Harrelson is a great actor, uh, but I just like like looking at him, looking at him. I I just maybe, maybe the wig is it. Maybe the maybe he gets a better a, a better hairdo or something. In my opinion, will change, but I don't. I never. I've never seen him as Cletus Cassidy, despite even seeing Natural Born Killers or yeah. whatever. I've just never seen him as that character. Who? Who? Who's your? I, I on the spot? wouldn't. I wouldn't. Like like some like somebody who who's a great actor who would have been rejected for the Joker. Whoever whoever that would be, you know, I don't have any names off the top of my head. I can give you, but but to me, that's kind of what Cletus Cassidy should. Should look like and, and behave like is is just like some nutbag, um, gangly looking. Who's the dude that plays Vision in Avengers? Uh, Paul, Paul Bettany. Bettany. Would could Paul Bettany pull off Carnage? Um, I, I feel he would be. I. I mm, he was rumored to play Joker. He was. He was. Was he? Mm-hmm. Huh. Okay. Well, I. I don't know. Like, I, I would have to see him in that kind of role. Okay. I guess I've never like the closest I've ever seen a beautiful him. Beautiful mind. Yeah, I was gonna say the closest I've ever seen him is in a beautiful mind, and and that's just not that's that's not that's just not crazy enough for me. Well, I mean, maybe I just don't have the vision, and that's <laughs> you know what that's, <laughs> you know what that's that's probably why the word was in my head and I had to say it. Um, you know, maybe maybe I just I I don't have that kind of of grand scheme in my head that I can't see it. What do you think of the villain? The villain I thought was disappointing. The villain, the villain. I and granted, right. I, 
I, I, Riot, yeah. Um, and granted, I don't know a whole lot about the other symbiotes. You know, Riot, Scream, uh, Lasher. I, I don't know much more than their names, quite honestly. But to me, it seemed like they gave him the same powers that Carnage would have, which to me is kind of like, if, if they're bringing Carnage in for the sequel, what are they going to do with him now? No, I, I mean, granted he, he can go more ape shit with the with the with the powers, but yeah, yeah. For for as powerful as they said he was, mm -hmm. like I think they almost like oversold him for the fact that Venom was eventually going to win. Right. Um. Oh, well, I mean, he, he was taken out kind of like with with the uh, uh, Deus Ex Machina. Yeah. You know, it's it's like uh, again spoilers. Um. You know, R Riot is taken out by uh, the the. Uh, shuttle engine fire yeah. stuff, but <clears throat> the thing I'm curious about is how how Venom actually survived. Yeah. So, because because Venom was was caught up in that. Engine yeah, fire they really too. breezed through that. They, they yeah. like like eventually at the end of the movie, he's talking to his ex girlfriend, and and then like you're like, oh, well, Venom's see, gone, and then all of a sudden you hear the voice again. You're like, well, see, but here's the thing: is that at least from my interpretation of that, uh, Eddie Brock didn't know until that moment. No, he knew. No, that, was, that, that, that Venom was still there? I think he was keeping it chill. I, I don't think he knew. No, he knew. He was keeping it chill. I don't think he knew. Um, he was keeping it chill, trust me. I but, talked to him. But, oh, yeah? What? Yeah, you got you got him on your on your speed dial? Mm -hmm. All right. Is there such a thing as a speed dial anymore? I slid into his it's DMs. Just, okay, well, <laughs> fair enough. But, um, no, I just, uh, like, like, I don't know. I, I like the banter between the two. Oh, the banter was, was like it was like the oh, was the best he, part like of one of my favorite moments was like like when he's looking like Eddie's just coming down with with this this thing and he doesn't know what's going on. He looks in the move in the mirror and and there's that like sudden flash of what Venom looks like, just like a quick flash. You blink and you miss it, and he he just like lets out this little ah, and then like falls back into the tub. And yeah, and it was. Yeah, I love that part. I mean, it's no, at one point the, the symbiote like, calls him a pussy. Like. Yeah. Um, but like, like, and, and, uh, you know, Eddie Brock calls the, the, uh, the symbiote a parasite yep. and, he's, and the symbiote's like, parasite, <laughs> it's, it's yeah. just like, it's, it's fun to have like a little, uh, like a bromance thing going on. And I thought it was cool it's that good. Hardy voiced both of them, you know, mm -hmm. the, he did the voice of the symbiote as well, which yeah. I thought was a cool touch. Yeah. Um, all right. 10 stars rating. Uh, ooh, 10 stars. Like, like out of wow. 10. That's that's a, that's a whole lot of stars. Um, I pr <coughs> I probably give it like six. I'm giving it um, a five because I like to hate. <coughs> no, I, I I give it a six. It's it's to me it's 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 an average movie. Would have been amazing 15 years ago, like you said. Um, but uh, the the saving grace for this movie, in my opinion, was was the interaction between Eddie and and the symbiote. Um. If if it wasn't for that, this would be a, a, a it would be a turd in the wind. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't, yeah, I didn't care for. Oh, I hey, for I got one either, last but... thing, and I and I saw another reviewer bitch about this too, but I completely agree, and I did not get the idea from <clears> him. I just, I absolutely hate it when they put the the end of the movie in the trailer. Oh, and they do that in this movie, and it just pisses me off i don't know why they do it and, and and i i didn't like i don't have it on record or anything but when i saw that freaking scene in the, in the trailer i was like damn it they did it they fucking did it they put the end of their movie in the trailer see see to me that's not a big deal because when you're watching the trailer you don't know it's the end of the movie mm. <clears throat> what did i just say <laughs> that i knew it okay well that's because you've been drinking and you don't, you know, <laughs> your thoughts are all scrambled. But, um, no, I mean, to me, it's, it's, it's not that big a deal. Personally, I don't really care. I mean, there's, there's been plenty of movies I've seen where it's like you see something in the trailer and it never shows up in the movie. Um, oh, I hate that too. Yeah, that, that, that kind of takes me off a little bit. But, um, especially when what you see in a trailer is, is like just outstanding. Um, and you, you want to see how that connects to the rest of the movie and all that. Yeah. Um, I knew it was one of the X-Men movies that really irked me. Dude, hey. Um, Alright, sorry. Off topic. Off topic. What's the best movie trailer you've ever seen? The best movie trailer? I, 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 For a uh, bad movie. 
for a bad movie. Now you're making it even harder. I, I can go first. Uh, if you okay, want yeah, you go first. X Men Three: Last Stand. Okay, yeah, that one's pretty crappy. But you watch the trailer, mm-hmm. and before I'd seen the movie, there was goosebumps. Okay, it's like, oh my god, yeah, this is gonna be epic. Yeah, it wasn't epic. It was actually a turn in the wind. There you go. All right. Um, I you know what? I want to say Thor Ragnarok, but I was I was. Uh, I, I had my doubts about that movie going in. I wasn't that impressed by by the uh, by the trailers. Um, I loved Thor Ragnarok. He's an idiot. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm in the minority now, but wait another ten years, and everybody's gonna be like, "What the hell were people thinking with Thor Ragnarok?" I promise you this. All right. Well. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll we, probably go with what you what you said about about uh, X three. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was it was a crap fest. All right, I can see the timer is running long on this yes, one. Yes, it is. Any closing thoughts? Um, Venom is a movie. That is well, well, yeah. undisputed, it's, it's, and that is a fact. Venom yeah. is a movie. <laughs> hey, everyone. Uh, subscribe. I, yeah, subscribe, subscribe, like the video, comment. If you don't like us reviewing movies because we're not movie reviewers, tell us that. Don't do it anymore. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Or if, or if you like it. You know, because you like our, 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 us bickering. Tell us that, too. Yeah. We're good with that. Like an old married couple. We, 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 from, we bicker. From Mother Russia. <laughs> All right. Dog coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. That was last call.